and gentlemen, it's Ice Blake here with another YouTube video. Today we do herbs in your kitchen. Why herbs in your kitchen? I mean, if you have made any type of food in your kitchen, herbs, especially fresh herbs, just makes it that much better. Now, if you have a herb garden outside, that is perfect. I mean, that's the way to go and you go get your fresh herbs in your own garden. But it's just that much better if you have some fresh herbs in your kitchen. Now it's easy to get fresh herbs in your kitchen if you already have fresh herbs in your garden outside. So you just take some with a good root system and you just plant them in pots and keep them inside of your kitchen. But now the other thing is that gets messy at some stage. So uh, you can make a nice display of it. What we did is you, it's, it's easy. I mean, we take any kind of glass, jar, bigger, smaller, doesn't matter, even plastic or a throwaway can or something like that. And uh, what we did is any piece of scrap wood you have lying around there, uh, the pallet woods normally look good and you just have like this rustic look to it or you paint it all. Uh, chalkboard black and then you write at the bottom which herb it is and you take some of these clamps from a hardware store you attach one of the clamps there and you put in your jar or plastic or can or whatever in there and you just these are easy you just fasten them with a flathead screwdriver and that will keep your jar there and then you just write at the bottom what herb is it. It looks very nice. It's a nice addition actually to your kitchen if you like cooking, if you like cooking with fresh herbs or stuff like that. So that's just one choice. The other one we're doing is you take a plain container like that and we go the sort of like hydroponics way now. Drill, drill some holes in there with a spade bit. You get these holders at any hydroponic store and drill the hole so that they just fit in there and then also at that stores you get a, a medium that you can put uh, your plants in or your herbs in if you want to do hydroponics you can just take a piece of sponge split it in half and then basically what you do is you'll put your freshy herbs in there with a nice healthy root system, you just close it up, you put it in one of these little baskets, make sure that the root is sticking out at the bottom, and then you put it in there, and this one you just fill with water, what I do is I fill it with water to a level, and then I just add something for the roots, uh, this is called lucky plant, it helps for the roots and it gives them some nutrition and minerals because just plain water won't do actually. If they're in soil they actually extract some of the nutrients and stuff they need from the soil so now when they're just in water there's nothing, it will keep them hydrated but you, it still needs something to eat to keep it a healthy herby. So if you don't have fresh herbs in your garden, where would you get herbs to do this? Well, you can go to any, I think even supermarkets that have a fresh produce section, they sell these containers with fresh herbs in them. Uh, I got this from my local supermarket uh, checkers. Uh, Fruit and veg even has some of it at the herb section. You get them at the bottom of those freezers. So it's not hard to find. You can go to any nursery. They would have them. Or just a friend that has a, a herb garden. You can just take some of it because they multiply. They actually produce new herbs. So you can get from them. And if you have one, you basically just tear off... Uh, the amount you need and that just reproduces and it, it it's it's an unending supply of fresh herbs actually we don't 
normally cut them it's like the scissors or the metal does something you just tear it off and that's like a natural process for that plant it will regenerate and it will give you new herbs so it's not that difficult to make you can take any container I've seen some do it in old ice cream buckets just like drill the holes in put it in there and then I take like a normal straw for milkshake and just dab of glue at the bottom and you put it in there and that thing will bounce showing you basically the level of your water inside your container what I do is I just use these normal small fish aerators for your uh, aquarium so it just pumps air blah 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 it goes continuously that pumps air into the water and also aerates the water for the plants which is better you get these bigger ones if you have a bigger container you can use it in a bucket if you have a lid for it um, get these chippy Chinese ones that you can put in and then you'll just need those if you want to do the aeration that would I would say just get these pipe they use in the aquariums as well and a air stone any size just basically putting in bubbles there and if you want to filter the air coming out of that you get these they so inexpensive it's like an air filter for the air filter it just pumps through that cleans the air coming out of that uh, aquarium air pump and then it goes into the aquarium hose if you'd call it that into the aquarium air stone into the water and it aerates the water and the nutrients we put in the water and you have lovely herbs just in your kitchen and while you're preparing food there it's so nice you just pluck a leaf drop it in there it's as fresh as it gets uh, what I'm doing today is just this is just normal basil it's a uh, nice and pesto so delicious smells so good and then of course rosemary you can get any herb that you normally use in your kitchen we use rosemary so much with any type of pork or lamb dish uh, you just break off a twig and that thing is fresh it just gives it an awesome flavor I think I'm just going to assemble this quickly it's not a hard thing to do you even get kits like this for your kitchen um, I'll try to find one and then post the link in the description down below if you want to have a look I'll look at all the products that I've used here and put links for them as well you can try any of it it's not it's not a wrong product or a right product I've just used this for a while now just cleaned it out uh, the previous herbs we used we planted in the garden so now it's time to get some new fresh ones and the ones that we actually use the most we would want to get in here now so yeah you can get do the containers on the wall those really look pretty it's actually like uh, something nice to look at and it's functional so like an ornament in your kitchen but you can use it so what else do you want? I mean, perfect. So, I'm just going to get this assembled and then maybe just plug it in so you can see it bubbling, bubbling, and it, it looks good. It's, it's not that noisy and it aerates everything for your herbs that you're using in your kitchen. Stay tuned. Bag and got some rainwater because I actually think that's better to use in a system like this. Uh, Tap water is kind of chlorinated, but there's ways to fix that. You could either boil it, leave it outside for 24 hours, and it uh, should be good as well. We collect rain in a container outside, so I just got some of that. And then, we really did one. A nice piece of root there. So the process would be kind of the same. We'll take one of the medium that you put it in. Mine is now just a piece of spongy. We'll put our uh, basil in there. That's a lovely piece of root right there. Then you'll just get it. They have 
holes at the bottom so we'll just get the roots through there because we need them to be in the water you don't want to yank on it or break off the root because then you basically just killed your own fresh herbs you don't want to kill it and then you put that in there and then you can just adjust it so it's kind of standing up straight this is a bigger plant so they normally do huge roots they do very well outside they do better outside actually so let's just show you that it can be done with a big plant okay so we have our roots at the bottom it's going to do Nice. Okay, now our bobber to show the water level. We have one year of red for I need to fill up some water, and then we have green. I'm good. So I'll just pop that in there. And I'm going to use the chippy filter. Just attach that piece. So I just cut off a section here. Just, and just push in normally, and then your filter. Actually, let's do this one first into the bowl. Real tight. Get that through there, and then we'll do it to this side. Into the air. Just work it over that nozzle. That should do. That should do. I'll just do the other ones. Just do the other ones quickly and uh, then we can start it up. Okay, welcome back. As you can see, we only have six parts here, but I filled all six with stuff that we normally use in the kitchen. And like I said, you could do the other display units and uh, nice roots going on there everyone should be covered or should get some liquid so just going to put it on that side quickly and then add our rainwater Stone goes back in. Okay, let's just see what our level is, yeah. Needs a little bit more. I'm not going to take each one out now. Going to aim for the hole and see. There we have green. I see green. Yep, it's bobbing. It's indicating our water level perfectly. Okay, maybe while I had that gone out, I was actually supposed to just. Oh, this herb is going to hate me. Just has a little. Like a, a baby spoon. It's just but it's it's good, you don't need a lot. Just put the nutrients in and the air stone will basically blend it for us. Okay, so Get them down nice and flat. Try not to hurt them. Okay, let's see if it works.
It's bubbling. It needs sun though, so any place it gets direct sunlight in the morning or so gets its nutrients from the water because we added it and it gets hydrated from the water then you can just pluck off twigs like from the rosemary or leaves from the basil and it will regenerate it will keep like this it's a brilliant concept uh, the jars on that also nice you just water it not too much you need some sort of gravel at the bottom so that you don't drown it in those jars because you can't actually do holes at the bottom so that it messes everywhere in the kitchen so you need to check the quantity you uh, water your herbs in that system this one is perfect it does everything for you just need to keep the air on and it aerates hydrates and we added nutrients so hydrate nutrient aerates everything in one and it goes and you have uh, fresh herbs in your kitchen at your disposal every time you cook hope you found this helpful uh, please leave a like if you did find it helpful or subscribe so we can kind of start growing this channel and see in what direction it goes i have various content on this i'm a dad i'm a gamer dad online gamer um technology we can do computers uh i do home brewing fly fishing uh worm farming uh herbs gardening anything if there's something you would like to see if you would like me to assist you in building something like this if you want to see me building the uh, other decorative sort of herb uh, attachment for your wall we can do that as well so leave a comment there for things you want to see or future content you want to see and then i know in which direction we're going and i can start doing those for you thanks for watching guys i hope you found this helpful leave a like and subscribe thank you